The vertices of parallelogram ABCD are blah, 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 and blah. If ABCD is reflected over the x-axis, how many vertices remain invariant? What the hell does invariant mean? Vary means a change, so invariant means no change. What the hell are vertices? Vertices are the points where your sides meet. In this case, we have four vertices. So we want to know for how many of those vertices do they not change when we reflect our parallelogram over the x-axis? Well, let's just first do it with a graph, then I'll show you a shortcut. If you want to do it with a graph, uh, for point B, what you would do is count that you have to go down by 3 from the x-axis, and then go in the opposite direction, so you go up by 3 and you get the new B. We'll call that B prime. Uh, let's do point C next. You have to count down by 3 again, so you have to count up by 3. You keep the same x coordinate though. And that'll give us the new C, in other words, C prime. Well, what about for A though? For A, if you start at the x axis, how much do you have to count down to get to A? 0. So how much do you have to count up? 0. Which means you land at the same exact point. So that'll be A prime. Same thing will happen for D. So you can already see what the answer is here. You can already see that it's two points that didn't change. So the answer is two. But what would have been a shortcut for this? Well, you didn't have to do all this graphing. You could have just realized that whenever I take a point x comma y, and I reflect it over the x-axis, all it's going to do is get the negative of whatever y-coordinate it had before. Let's make sure that's true. Over here where we had b, we had the point 0 comma negative 3. Well, when we had b prime, we got 0 comma positive 3. For c, we had 3 negative 3. When we did C prime, we got 3 positive 3. So you just change the sign of your y coordinate. So one way to write that is writing a reflection over the x axis of a point xy is going to equal to x comma negative y. So you just take the negative of whatever y is. Well, if you take the negative negative 3, you get 3. So that's why 3 negative 3 did change, so it's variant. But when you do it when the y coordinate is 0, if you take the negative of 0, then that's still 0. So going from 2, 0 to 2, 0, well, there's no change, so it's invariant. So what are the places where you have a y coordinate of 0? A and D. That's all you have to do. You just have to realize that the y coordinate is 0, so when I reflect it over the x axis, um, the point's not going to change.